Hello friends, welcome to Akul Mac Business Channel and today we have a program which is dedicated on the leader's voice and uh, today we will be joined by a very distinguished personality, very distinguished and honored leader from our industry. Her name is uh, Ranjana Kanti and she is the founder of India Redefined NGO and today we will learn from her how her organization can help MSMEs, small companies and even individuals to do charity and also uh, as part of their business process and uh, also generate some business and in, in, uh, as an outcome of this uh, whole proposition. So without further ado, let's invite Ranjana for a discussion. Ranjana Ji, welcome to the show or uh, you know, we would like to know from you what is uh, that you offer for the MSME segment. Uh, or what your NGO, how your NGO help the MSME segment in terms of, uh, you know, coming out with charity. Over to you, Rajiv. Thank you so much, Chandrakant, for inviting me. And um, see, India Redefined, uh, though registered like an NGO, uh, it is like a platform where a uh, um, lot of entities are together on this platform so we act like a system integrator you can say where uh, small medium enterprises uh, project professionals experts technology providers other ngos um, uh, implementation partners uh, even the, the common people, citizens, even the students, youth, lot of youth, they all have their role. So, uh, how this uh, small medium enterprises uh, are uh, bene getting benefited by that, and in, in, in turn, NGO is also getting benefited. That uh, uh, suppose uh, your organization is uh, selling some product or services, okay. So any product and services, because being in social sector and being in development sector, my, not only mine, but also my experts, we can think about anything which can be made into a social development project. Okay, your, your product or your technology can make into a social development project. So these small medium enterprises, since many years, they are asking us to give that format to them in which they can make a project like that. Suppose they are selling a water purifier or they are selling a uh, so solar uh, system or they are selling any product. So we, we try to make that project in a social development project kind of thing and a kind of CSR project and uh, not we tell them only to make now we have got the format we can give them the examples and they make and i myself give them four to five leads who can who know about india redefined and who can sponsor those projects only this thing is that uh, for a social development project it has to go into the rural area it has to do something with the underprivileged or it has to do something with the environment okay I for example I'll just uh, tell uh, you what all we are doing suppose there is a clean India project so we when we make a project of water sanitation or some hygiene or wash project then the many SMEs are, are can be the vendors of those uh, in those areas can do that their technologies can be used in that so one is that they can empanel with us when we get a funding we will always the, the their fees will come from that funding of the they will be our vendor second is that they can make themselves the project take leads from us and try to pitch it to them my intention is that being a social worker my intention is that that project should reach to masses that should reach to masses and they'll get that uh, uh, this thing most of our things someone we get we we are getting sponsorship some somewhere or the other 
so uh, same way suppose some um, air or soil pollution we, we do, do need technologies in that but in education center uh, sector also suppose some primary secondary adult education skill development the digital education teachers training there there uh, these uh, small medium enterprises are only vendors who are giving that so now things are becoming so huge within the india redefined because of a big platform who has got 13 lakh no not 13 lakh more than 13 lakh supporters all over india 460 ngo partners are many are pending so many technology providers hundreds and hundreds of who are uh, impaneled with us so we now we are telling these uh, small medium enterprises that they make the program in such a way that their own project, uh, their own services or product uh, can become like they become our vendors for anything and they can pitch it to the um, uh, uh, we can uh, we jointly pitch means even I will pitch to the corporates not I am leaving that to uh, them also. There are uh, many um, uh, small medium enterprises who are uh, who have products and services for environment, renewable energy, sustainability, biodiversity, eco farming, forestation. We we already have. I can give them examples also that we made these projects with the help of these small medium enterprises only, where their technology is used. So uh, these uh, I, I can give them example. So, same in health uh, sector, in telemedicine, rural health care, M health, emergency response, training, support, other health related issues. We have got, uh, we already, we can give them, many projects are already ready, where instead of that particular technology, they have to just put their technology and we will pitch it to the, so that way they are benefited by us. One is that way. Second, how India Redefined is getting benefited? Obviously, our social sector project will go to the masses by adding more technology makes you more, more uh, stronger also. And the more we are becoming one-stop solution for CSR, for any development sector, we will become one-stop solution. And India Redefined certain citizen movement that is also becoming a pressure group kind of thing, anti-corruption movement in small villages, many places. It's not becoming a mass movement, but at many places, wherever we are becoming strong. So additional, anything adding to that will become, we will become more powerful, more um, uh, this thing people, more people obviously things uh, together we can be successful, but their product and services for sure this way we can reach. So any other question? Yes, excellent. In fact, this is a very good uh, initiative by India Redefined. I have only one question uh, that is with regard to the MSMEs, how they get associated with you? Is it uh, they, have to, they have to come back to you and uh, there is a registration form or uh, there is an initial uh, cap on investment? You know, cer certain basic things, if you can tell, it will be great. India Redefined has not put any charges for anything for association in fact we are happy there is there are only we have made things very simple there are only two forms one is for ngo uh, partnership and second is for any other organization with business houses profit centers social enterprises or exports or any so that is called empanelment form even if i am not there on our website that form is there Experts uh, Association uh, that way because we call for any SME, SMEs or experts or technology people we call them experts. For us, we are experts. Okay, you are expert in your sector. No, that's why you are selling that for product or services. So expert panel uh, ship. There is one form. That form they fill up. In that only the web. Uh, this is written email. And panel at indiaredefined.org. Like this, even if they don't remember, that is written in that form. They send that form. So they come in our data. Okay, this is the way. See, this is a very nice. Uh, the, I myself start appreciating sometimes that our visionary Anurag Kanti thought a very nice way 
of empaneling so many people thousands of technology he brought he himself is an expert in technology being a marine engineer and uh, also uh, doing uh, for this uh, small and medium enterprises and startups he is doing consultancy and all so he knows about this thing that how who are the best so, so many iit you know these iit people because he has been called there as a judge and also he has himself brought those projects these iitians they come out with new new things uh, startups you know how, how brainy these are so he himself has brought so many technologies he has brought and he himself has made i will i, I can share with them there are uh, more than 14 15 projects just made by him only using the uh, uh, smsmes uh, products and services I so think, uh, i think this is a great initiative and i think i think there are lot of support and i know for sure that uh, msmes uh, uh, the promoters of these msmes want to do some charity and uh, they do not find and, a solution out in the market so i think this is something that they can leverage and uh, they can reach out to you and you can help them do some charity and also generate some opportunities for themselves in that area so mm. great uh, ranjana ji i think this is a great initiative i wish you all the best and uh, thank you for uh, talking to us and we will uh, meet in the next uh, edition of uh, leaders voice until then i like to say goodbye for today thank you so friends uh, we had a fantastic discussion with ranjana and uh, we learned how her organization provides the platform in terms of uh, associating with charitable work across various sectors and if you are one of those smes and uh, uh, small medium uh, organization who wants to contribute to society in those segments where you have products and also you want to do charity i think the link will be given in the description below you can click on that and get associated with india redefined so for today i like to say goodbye only to catch you again in the next edition of leaders voice bye bye